Hey everybody, welcome into this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial brought to you as always by tutvid.com. If you're new around here, my name is Nathaniel Dodson. We're going to talk about some essential video editing today, namely the J-Cut. If you don't know what the J-Cut is, you really should stick around and check it out because I think it just might change the way you edit. And without further ado, let's jump into this video and check this technique out. All right, so let's talk about the J-Cut, how to do it in Premiere. And by the way, this technique works for virtually every video editor out there as long as you can work with individual tracks. It's super effective. It's super cool. I think you'll really like like it. Um, here's what the idea is. Basically, a J cut will introduce the audio of an upcoming video clip. Let's say this clip here. It'll introduce the audio of an upcoming clip before you ever see the visuals. So it allows you to really roll into seeing uh, that next video clip in a very natural sort of transition. It's just really cool. It adds a nice bit of production value to your uh, content, or should I say post production value. So well, the idea is I start talking about the prison right here. See where the waveforms really begin to spike I say uh, well let's see what I say they used to put people in prison up there. so they used to put people in prison up there all right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my uh, video all the way back here so just give me a little bit of that ambient noise to work with the seagulls the ocean the wind everything like that so grab the razor tool let's snip our clip right there and then grab that piece of footage and delete it I'm not using ripple delete or anything fancy. I'm just going to drag my video clip back into place now. So now what I have is we see the Alcatraz prison building. They used to put people in prison up there. And then we get this rough cut right to me saying, "Hey, look, they used to keep they used to put people in prison up there." That's not good enough for me. I want I want to make sure that I can see the Alcatraz building, but I want to start talking about it while the viewer is looking at the Alcatraz building. So it's pretty simple. The way I like to do this is I'm going to say maybe I'll begin talking somewhere right around here. So I'll grab the video clip of me talking and I'm just going to drag it right over my other footage. So let's see what we've got now. They used to put in Same exact thing, except now we only see the Alcatraz building for a quick second. So what we want to do is keep the audio here, but we want to peel the video back to like here so we can see the Alcatraz video. But see, if we just click the end with that red arrow to like trim in or out our video clip, it trims both the, uh, the audio and the video tracks. Now you could right click on your video clip and choose unlink, but the problem with unlinking is then they're always disconnected. And if you accidentally adjust one this way or the other, you're going to throw off all your sound sync and everything like that. It's absolutely 100% a method you could use, but I prefer to keep them linked together just so I know that they're there as a package. I shot them together. I want to edit them together, but here's what you can do. You can hold down your alter option key and then you can trim in or out just a part of that track. So see if I click both the audio and video are still connected, but now I can just drag my Alcatraz video out and maybe I need to just drag this back a touch like that. And here what I'll have is the Alcatraz and I'm going to start talking. They used to put people in prison up there. I'm, like, I'm going to take a picture. Right. So and then, then you get a much more natural transition to me. But that's still not good enough. Let's undo it. I want to show you an even better trick here. So you can use a tool here which I believe is located under here called the rolling edit tool. Now we're going to use a hotkey, so we don't need to actually use the tool, but just know it's there. And what it's going to allow us to do, if I hold down my control key, as I get close to the edge of clips, I get first my yellow trim in out tool, which is the ripple delete tool. If you don't know about it, you can check it out. Really powerful, super duper useful. But if I actually hover over a transition, I get what's called the rolling edit tool, which basically if I roll edit this and pull into my new video, it trims back the video of me talking while while trimming, uh, while revealing more trimming in or out, I guess I, I should say, the Alcatraz video as well as the associated audio. I don't want that. Remember that Alt key? Alt key allows us to just target one track. So if we hover over our uh, transition there, hold down Command or Control, there's a rolling edit tool, and then hold down Alter Option, we can roll edit just the visual track. So now what I've got is something that looks like this. They used to put people in prison up there. Right, so I get that nice J cut and see what's the shape of my clip roughly. It sort of resembles a J, right? That's the direction it's heading. It's heading in a J-like direction. I'll put it to you that way. But this still isn't good enough because we still, if you listen to the audio, you're going to hear an abrupt jump in the audio right there. 
right? Right where all the seagulls come in. This is why I cut my clip back and preserve some of that ambient noise because now we can go over to our effects, go to your audio transitions, crossfade, and just apply like a constant power crossfade. And I like to make it pretty big. I don't want to have it overlap where I'm speaking, but just a nice long transition so the audio can kind of meld together. Let's check it out. They used to put people in prison up there. And really, for the visuals, there's no transition at all. It's just a cut straight to the clip. But it feels like a really clean, almost, you could argue, cinematic transition. I'm going to shut off my safe margins because they're annoying me. Uh, almost a cinematic transition uh, because it's just a really clean transition. So here, from the beginning, let's check it out. They used to put people in prison up there. I'm going to take a picture. And there you have it. It's really simple. It's an essential little cut. It's just extending the audio or pushing the video back to allow the audio to introduce the video before you actually get to the visuals of that clip. And here, let me just show you another really fast example of it. Right here, I've got this shot of downtown San Francisco and then me in my hotel lobby hallway area talking about being there. So what I can do is decide I want to start speaking right around here, maybe where the title goes away. I want to start speaking. So I'm just going to overlap my video clip I don't have any trimming to do and right there I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and then hold down command option or control alt and I'm just gonna trim back something kind of like that so I'm doing all this talking before you ever see me and now we've got something like this I'm here in a hallway in a hotel in downtown San Francisco Right. But I probably need to add that crossfade as we did and make it nice and long. Whoop. I just cut back the wrong thing. Let's select just the transition and something like that. And now we're going to have a really nice transition for the audio and a really nice transition for the video. I'm here in a hallway in a hotel in downtown San Francisco. So there you have it. That is the J cut. Use it. Have fun with it. It's a great little way to edit certain transitions in your video projects. Well, there you have it. It's simple, it's effective, most importantly, and it's a beautiful little technique there called the J-Cut. I hope you enjoyed this video. Guys, if you did enjoy it, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications on, because subscribing eh, doesn't do much these days on YouTube. Hit that little notification bell. And uh, for learning about the J-Cut, the rolling edit tool, isolating a couple tracks, things like that to create this little simple effect that's gonna change the way you edit videos, that's it. Get it, got it, good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.